Okay, now we about to get information. Okay, now we about to get information. Hey you guys, so here is that chunky twist out that I've been promising you guys. Thank you so much for your patience. So I did blow up my hair in my previous video and I went ahead and put my hair up, just pinned it up in an up to. So what you're going to see me do here is take my hair down and then go ahead and section my hair off to make it easier to actually set my twist. So yes, yeah, working with a lot of hair here, but that's okay. I'm going to be using the Kinky Tresses products. I really have been enjoying her line, you guys. I, I've been using her styling butter and her leave-in and that's what I'm going to use in this video excuse me in this tutorial so here are the products and a hair oil mixture so section my hair off using the leave-in then the oil slightly detangle on my hair um, and then I'm going to be using the styling butter okay <laughs> I spent time on the before I was with you. These days, something like a dream, since I've been on the road. Seeing shit I've never seen before, and still there's no place I've come. Spending all the days on the other side. It'll be the same on the other side now. Yeah, I need to up the book, man. I'm trying to get to know about the hands of love I'm tired of doing no research, don't feel I've been on it since I was this time Bet you never want to go so far, you said for the Alright you guys, so finishing up the last twist and I am doing a hanging bantu knot on each one just so that my ends are going to be very neat. I'm applying some oil to my scalp and I'm going to show you what my hair looks like up close. Very, very juicy. I had about uh, roughly 16 to 18 twists. What I'm going to do is just use a goody stretchy band, pull my hair back into a low bun and this is how I'm going to wear my hair for the next uh, day or so, day and a half is how long I'm going to allow my hair to set, okay? All right, so nearly two days later, like I said, a day and a half roughly, I'm going to use a little bit more oil just to unravel my hair, and that's all the oil I'm going to need, you guys. Um, yeah, just working the oil into my hair and unravel. I'm going to unravel and only separate in some areas because, again, this is on blonde out hair. I also ended up, once I was done with the style, I want to let you know that I did end up spraying my hair with some holding spray. I'm able to get away with this style here for roughly a day and a half, or I should say two days wear. But when I did this style in Texas, it only lasted two or three hours because it was so humid. So your results may differ depending on your location. Um, just want to put that out there. So yes, I'm going to separate in some areas, mostly towards the back. But I did notice when I tried to separate on the top, it started to frizz up. Alright you guys, so this is what my hair is looking like. I am going to end up pinning up some of my hair in the front because I just don't like hair on my face. So this is what the back looks like. Super, super defined. I'm going to probably do another style for you guys in a couple more days. Probably. More than likely a perm rod set. So be looking out for that video for the following week. And so yeah, y'all, this is it. Like I said, I'm going to pin up some of my hair. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye. <laughs> I'm such a step out of a time, check the resume.